all right um, good day everybody this is uh, simple graphics on a journey to the right way to design and this is our first edition one of its kind especially for beginners not for professionals actually and do um, it to hit the, um, the subscription button for this channel like comment share the videos and then if you want to join our WhatsApp group you can chat me up on this number and so we will be talking about using a green tool in your design actually you can use design in your um, flyer design and also on logo design you know the way you use it in the flyer design is different from the way you use it in the logo design what is uh, actually done in uh, flyer design is to help you align your design so um, the function of grid first of all is to make is to help you to know how to align your design how to align what your design and also help you um, divide the compartment of your design understand so um, this is the grid tool. I don't know if you might be seeing it, but we don't really know um, what it's all about. So that is the grid tool. And so when you click on it, um, it shows like this. Let me start from the beginning. So this is how it will show when you on it. So if you want to move it, um, you click on this. Sorry, let me use a pen to you click on this. So when you click on it, you'll be able to move it around. So this is so for every design you will do. Um, I've imported some design that I'm going to be using to explain this. So the first one, let me work on the first one. Um, this is a, a design I've done some when I was a beginner. Now it's okay to be. Uh, it's okay to do the bad design but it's not okay to always do a bad design yes, but the first thing that if you are a designer and you know what a bad design is you will stop designing a bad design so the majority of people who you see their design is ugly and broken is because they actually don't know what a bad design is understand so um, going straight to what we have today is this um, grid as a beginner, I would advise you to always own it and then arrange it at always the edge, 5 and 95. So this first one, if you want to change the uh, position, you click on this place. Sorry. You click on this place to, uh, to change the positioning of it. So we will put it at 5. The up part is 5. Then we'll click on the downside. And then click on this position in place and then put it in um, 95 so you click on the right side on and then put it in 95 or so and then the left should be in 5 understand so this will give you a perfect way of how to align your design so that it will not cut off you know most times when you are when you are to print your design, if your write-up is cut out, it's a bad or um, a thing because your the communication you are trying to make, the communication you are trying to make to people, because graphic design is communication, you are trying to communicate something to people. The communication you are trying to make is not going to be fulfilled in the sense that people might be trying to figure out what uh, what is there. So, Looking at uh, this design, if I don't place my grid as a beginner, this no, all this no is going to cut out of my design. This ones, they are already gone, especially when it's printed. But some printers nowadays, they help, 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 they help designers in the sense that they will always add the margin for you when printing. But I think. Uh, I've seen people would especially flyer design especially when you arrange it in maybe you are working with a6 and you you arrange it for in 
A4 paper and then you are trying to cut. When you are cutting, you might remove it. You are removing some parts. So it's good to cut out image, but it's not good to cut out uh, a writer. So if I was to do the design again, I will place uh, this here, uh, money making made easy. And then I can put with here. Although I was supposed to write everything down. So this uh, Naira box should be here. And then the other right top should follow. And then these other ones. No reading of news, no posting of blah, blah, blah. And then this other one, I can centralize it. This logo is going to come up of this place. And then the image can be here. So if I'm to do that design again, so that's one function of uh, the grid. So the second function of the grid, let me import a design. Is um, let me work on this. Second function of a um, grid is to uh, divide the compartment of your design. Now in this design, this is compartment one. I'll add on now. This is two. This is two. This is uh, three and four. So um, I think I'm going to make a video of a uh, difference between a church flyer, a flyer design, and uh, a social media design. There are different uh, compartment, and how uh, I think the next video is going to be on FRC. So. I'm going to talk uh, more about it. So this is the compartment of this design. Uh, it has uh, four places. This is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. You get it? So this is um, another work of grid. Another work of the grid. So when you um, make your design like this, you get a nice design. So another work of a grid is for, um, okay, I've talked about alignment, I've talked about compartment. So for every design, for every design, especially social media design or a church flat design, you must have an heading, you understand? It must be heading, it must be sort of heading, you know, there must be the body of the design and then some of that things that will be added to it. You get so, whichever way, it's not bad to um to design but to do a broken design but the worst part of it is when you keep doing a broken design so this is one of the broken design i've done before can you imagine the typography arrangement <laughs> so bad but you can some people can do this and then take it out there and then, you know when i designed this i was like man i did a wonderful job Come, let me teach you people how to design. Fees two thousand. Hmm. I was just, when I, when I see this my designs, I always laugh and I was like, wow. So it's me that did all this design. So this is was what I did recently. Um, as a copper. So this is a replicated design I did for. Uh, I just was practicing and I replicated the design so if I'm to arrange this it's at the middle so um, the first thing you should know in all this design is that your grid helps you to align your work helps you to align your work helps you in alignment you see how this alignment enters in the fifth place you get so that's how you um work on grid on your flyer so it's good for beginners always make uh, always on your grid always know how to work on your grid how to uh, place your grid and how to align your work how to align your work i think let me import a another um i think i'm going to let me import a social media flyer uh, let me, I want to pause this video so I can import this. Okay, so I imported this design and you can 
see the alignment this time you can see the alignment of the design and then the image So this is it. And you get you got in the alignment. So um I still have other designs. Okay now this one. You see how I aligned it to this place. See, so I told you the compartment, and this is the first one. This is the first place, second place, third place, and then the fourth place. So this is the heading, the subheading, the body of the flyer, and then every other thing is all referred to as the order. So help yourself by using um, the grid is um, the grid to in your design because it makes your design look um, arranged very well so see you guys in the next video when we're we talking about um, emphasis how your work should be emphasized your social media design and church flyers stand so I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to this. Thank you.